Hey, flying saucer. Hey, hey, flying saucer. Hi, this is Jason from Dieter von Bitmap. In this tutorial, I'll give you an overview of how I prepare images for use in photo animation in Toon Boom Studio. Now, you can do a lot of the, the editing within Toon Boom itself. It's not ideal for it, but you can certainly make it work. Um, and if you're going to use things that have a hard edge, like my wife's leg here has a, you know, a, a firm uh, straight edge or like let's say like a car or when we edited out the the basketball for example you know those all have hard edges you know it works pretty well if you're gonna do something like my dog Henry back here um, you can see that he's actually fuzzy he's got fur around his edges and you, we have to use a different technique for that and we'll we'll cover that in the, the ne very next tutorial but again for hard edges it's actually pretty easy to do so let's go ahead and get started Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to use a, a picture of my dog's bowl, and I actually use this photo for uh, Henry and Mama 3, which is the annoying orange. I'm sorry, the, the annoying do dog bowl, which is a parody of the annoying orange. Um, and so one thing we want to do is before, uh, you know, I get into talk to, uh, talking to you about actually editing, just want to give you some tips in, in terms of uh, some tricks that I've learned along the way, you know, to make some effective uh, photo animation. Uh, number, number one is to make sure that you kind of take the photos at the same angle that the, the action is actually going to be taking place. So in this particular case, you know, the action was taking place at the level of the floor, okay? So the dog bowl is a character, the hair ball is a character, and the, the bone is a character. So what I did is I actually put the camera on the floor and took the, the picture right then. Uh, another, um, you know, trick is to just take all your pictures at the same time. So if you're going to take a picture of the background, for example, or take a picture of the dog bowl, um, whatever you're going to do, um, take them all at the same time. It helps get the, the, writing, the lighting correct. And that way, again, you don't have to play around with the, the angles too much. And, and the lighting and things like that. Everything will be light, lit in a, a consistent and believable way. Um, the final tip that I would give you is in this particular case, um, you know, I had the dog bowl and the hair ball and the, the bone all set up, you know, where they were going to actually be in the, in the video. However, these are not even the right hair balls or the, uh, the, ball, the, the bone that was actually used in the video. But I, what I did is I placed them here and then I put the, the actual hair ball over the top that I was going to use. So again, it helps you kind of make sure that you have enough room, let's say, on the stage or on, on the photo. Um, you know, by placing that all together. So again, you know, take it from the angle of um, the of the, the way the action is going to take place. Take them all at the same time, and then again, you know, place things out in the, the the respective spots so you have a good idea to make sure that you have you know enough room on your canvas to, to work. Okay, so that's that's enough about that. Um, what we're going to do again is take a rough cut of this this dog bowl, and the key here is that it's going to be a rough cut. We're going to get it pretty close to the edge. Um, but not right up to the edge. And the reason is that when you import this into Toon Boom, it's actually going to have a halo around it. So if you cut it right up to the edge, uh, what would happen is you're actually going to have to cut into the photo itself to get rid of that halo. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, pause for a minute. I'm going to switch over to a, um, a Wacom tablet, and we'll get started. Okay, so let's go get started actually editing the photo. First thing I like to do is, uh, you know, to obviously zoom in a little bit. And again, I'm using Photoshop Elements uh, version 6, but you know you can use whatever photo uh, editing software you have because, again, what we need to do today is really not that complicated. So in Photoshop Elements, what I can do is just do a quick select and kind of get around this dog bowl and select all the pieces. Again, this does not have to be perfect. One thing that I, I always am careful of, though, is make sure you get enough room around the dog bowl um, because ultimately you're going to have to go back and, and kind of clean it up. And again, you don't want to get it too close. Okay, so I selected it again, just a really rough cut. So what I'm going to do is just um, cut that into another later. We'll get rid of uh, the old background. The other thing that I like to do right away is add another layer right behind it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill that with just a dark color. And again, at this point, I'm assuming that uh, you know you know how to use the, your image editing software. If anybody's interested in having me, you know, go through a more detailed tutorial about how to actually use uh, Photoshop Elements, we can do that at some point too. So again, I'm going to switch over to my my Wacom tablet here, and what I'm going to do is just roughly cut this out, make the brush a little bit bigger here, and I just have a basic brush, just a basic round brush. 
and really that's about as close as you need to get it. Um, when it comes to the dog food, I do like to get a little bit closer in on that and get a little closer to the edge, and you'll see why when we get over to the tune boom. Let's get in there a little bit close. And really get close to the edges. It actually helps the contour editor, which is the tool that we're going to use. you know, find where the edge is and get a little bit closer. So again, rather than bore you with, you know, going through this for the next five minutes, what I'm going to do is, is go ahead and speed up this, this video. But again, it takes me about, I don't know, two minutes or so to go through this. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we're all we're all done with it. Again, I, I left a, a little bit of an edge of the, the old photo right around the edge of the, the, the bowl that we want to keep. And the reason again for that is as you'll see is that uh, you know we're gonna do the additional cleanup within Toon Boom. So I can go ahead and save this file, then we're gonna switch over to Toon Boom. <laughs> 